Thank you, Erin. Hello, we are the consultants for Bonafide. Let's start off with meeting the team. We had the pleasure of having Sarah Glatt as our business advisor. I'm the peer mentor, Gabby Sott, with a dual major in sustainability and international business economics. Hi, everyone. My name is Moody Abdel Salam. I'm a sophomore here. Uh, I'm also an analytical economics and philosophy, business tech innovation double major. And I'm also one of the student consultants for Bonafide. Hello, everyone. My name is Amanda Kelly, and I'm a senior here at UNH, dual majoring in business management and sustainability, and this is my first time in the clinic. Hi, everyone. My name is Kira Kelly. I'm a junior studying marketing, and it is also my first time in the clinic. Our client was Amanda Hackett, who is the owner and GM of Bonafide. Amanda and her co-founder, Ryan, took the desire for sustainability and made the decision to help educate the people of their community and the importance of living a zero waste lifestyle. Their Concord location offers a variety of eco-friendly products and a unique refill station for household items. Starting off with the approaching goals that we set at the beginning of the semester, our main target objective was to obtain a minimum of 90 points on the BIA. Another goal was to provide necessary documentation if time allowed. We took the approach of downloading the improvement report to track earned and potential points for the company in an Excel document that was formed by area of impact. This is a snapshot of the Excel that we used each week to track our suggestions and action items. The first impact area we'll discuss is the environment section. From our initial scoring, we've near tripled the points earned in this section through documentation of pre-existing policies and the creation of an management system. Now, the EMS is a culmination of policies pertaining to resource usage and waste management at Bonafide. Next, we have the governance section, which pertains to Bonafide's mission, engagement, accountability, and transparency. Through our work in the governance section, we've revised Bonafide's mission statement created leadership organization chart, a code of ethics, and a KPI tracker, which stands for key performance indicators. Additionally, we've revised the existing operations manual to contain these policies and practices to ensure they're properly incorporated in the business. And lastly, we've outlined a plan for the creation of an advisory board for bona fide post clinics. In addition to the environment and governance sections, we were able to provide Bonafide with suggestions for improvement and documentation within the workers, community, and customer areas. Firstly, we recommended that the Bonafide team add employee bios to their website to allow stakeholders to get to know the team on a more personal level. Additionally, we created a formal equal opportunity employer statement to be added to their job postings and website, and we also created an employee survey to gauge satisfaction and engagement. We made the most significant impact in the community section as we started with 16 points and ended with 40.9 points. We drafted a supplier code of conduct for all of their suppliers. We created a formal supplier diversity policy and researched bona fide suppliers characteristics for their KPIs. For the customer section, we created and implemented a customer survey that has been sent out in bona fide's weekly newsletters um, since that creation. So just to sort of recap our semester, I'll talk a little bit of some of the successes and challenges we faced this year. Uh, with some challenges we kind of faced, uh, we, we, uh, we were having problems with just getting the lower arm code with the mission lock, um, but we could still submit the BIA and just wait for later approval. And despite the peak of the shopping season, overall, we were able to finalize the BIA and achieve the 80 point threshold that we needed to submit it and cre by creating 22 deliverables. We earned 54.6 points overall, bringing us from a starting point of 37.9 points to 92.5 points with almost half of the points coming from the community section. We also prepared Bonafide, Bonafide with future action steps that can contain takeaway documents and additions to its operations menu, manuals that will help outline its future action steps and policies that outlines Bonafide's approaches to different parts of its company. We've been tracking our accomplishments and obstacles weekly through the Bonafide blog and can't wait to see it published in their website in the coming weeks. And just to finish off with a couple of takeaways, uh, my biggest takeaway was just that working with the BMFAC clinic has been both hands-on and challenging. Um, and it's been a real pleasure of just having real world experience uh, working to assess ethical business practices and sustainability methods.
For me, it was such an amazing experience working with Amanda and the rest of the student consultant team. Um, Amanda is continuously pushing the boundaries of her business and her industry, which is really inspiring to me. And through this process, I've become a more rounded student and it has really given me a newfound passion for sustainable business practices. This semester has been an incredible learning experience. I'm so proud of the work that this team has been able to accomplish in such a short amount of time. I can't wait to see the remarkable things that Bonafide will do in the future because it's their future is endless. It's been a privilege to be a participant in the Be Impact Clinic this semester and to have such a fantastic client, Amanda Hackett. Um, this program has been an extremely rewarding experience and a great way to connect like-minded students and businesses looking to create a more sustainable future.